Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I can see people slowly coming in. So we'll give everyone a few minutes to come in and then we'll begin, right? Yep, absolutely. In the meantime, feel free to tell us where you're from. Uh, there's uh, in the Zoom tools right at the bottom, you'll see a chat button. Go ahead and click that and talk to us. Always great to hear from, from everyone. And I don't need to tell you how to use Zoom. Everyone knows how to use Zoom now. Well, you never know. You never know. A lot of people are, <laughs> you're a Teams guy, right? Yes, I'm a Teams person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know it used to be that we had to explain everything, right? But uh, yeah, yeah, of course. You never know. We might have some new virtual networkers here um, that managed to avoid some of the mayhem of the last six months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I, I envy them. Yeah. <laughs> jumping online. Yeah. Going virtual, huh? Yeah, of course. Right. So, so tell me what's in your background oh. there, Achilles. Uh, so that's uh, that's my board game collection. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I I attended an online uh, course on uh, presenting and and one of the tips they gave and I think this is actually useful to everyone mm. is to inject some personality into into your camera for an audience and yeah. I thought, you know what, this is a nice quiet room, a bit of personality behind me, and I get yeah. to close the door so there's no dog to bother me. So yeah. it's perfect. <laughs> I was going to bring your dog up later on. But um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's I think that's really, really important to have the whole personality aspect there. And it's a conversation piece, right? Which is what of we will course. talk yeah. about in another little bit also. So yeah, um, Good uh, Irish name, Kira. Who's ja Jackie Wade? How are you, Jackie? From Dune Beg, County Clare, just uh, just west of me, northwest of me a little bit. How are you? I'm down in Coole in Cork. Good to see you there, Jackie. Oh, uh, well, neighbours. And uh, and hello, Camilla, from the Swedish Exhibition and Congress Centre, Gothenburg. Good oh, to have you with us. I love it, Camilla. You're very, very welcome. There's obviously plenty of shy people on on the uh, on the webinar today, uh, which Let is me... fine. Yeah, but during during the session, um, Kira will be asking you some questions. Please do feel free and comfortable to post uh, to just use the chat uh, message. Yeah. We we like receiving comments from everyone. We promise we're not going to put you in the spot. So yeah, feel free feel free to interact. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, you know, that I think is, is a key part of the whole online experience um, is to get involved and interact and um, and I suppose really be let people know that you're that you're there, you know, that you're yeah. interested in that conversation. So we could use today's session also as a bit of practice uh, for for next week right so um folks if you have pen and paper that'd be that'd be mighty and if you want to put your um email or your name in the chat box there as well feel free to uh feel free to do that okay it's a good thing to do you know if you're in perhaps a group um virtual networking environment it's um it, it, it's a good thing to do as well you know it just kind of puts it out there that you're interested in in conversation and stuff right of course yeah of course and um and you think we're ready to begin kira shall i yeah. shall i begin yeah all right wonderful so yeah hi everyone thank you so much for joining this session on uh, how to network online uh, my name is achilles and uh, our webinar today will be presented by uh, sales strategist and author of Steps to Win, the wonderful Kira Feely. Excellent to have you back with us again, Kira. It's been a while. Uh, for everyone who's familiar with IMEX, uh, we have Kira with us every year to do specialist uh, education for our suppliers and our exhibitors. But for obvious reasons, we haven't we haven't seen you for a while, Kira. So yeah, like we said uh, earlier um, before we started this session, during the session we're going to be asking you questions, and uh, we really do appreciate uh, interaction with all attendees. So feel free to use the chat session ask questions, add comments, answer questions. And, and yeah, we will, uh, we look forward to um, presenting for you. Yeah, yeah. So the joys of presenting from home. Sorry, my boy just walked in the, I'm working darling. Okay. 
So uh, sorry about that, but that's just kind of typical of what of what happens right now in the in the work scenario. It's after school, so you just never never know um, what what can happen. So thank you, thank you. Listen, it's just wonderful, wonderful uh, to be back, and uh, it's not the same sitting at home instead of being in Las Vegas, meeting with people, and uh, you know. Um, having those impromptu meetings, I think, is what is 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 a lot of the golden um, parts of of IMAX America is those people that you might meet in the aisle that um, you may not have ha arranged to have a meeting with, um, or those people that you're walking with somebody else and then you get introduced to somebody that they know, and all those impromptu meetings, those um, people that you meet at the bar or while you're at an event in the evening, whatever that might be. Um, so we're deeply, deeply missing that, but I know it's gonna be, it's no, it's gonna be back soon. So um, just for a minute, folks, you know, We've all, we're all at perhaps different times of the day. Some of it us is evening time, some of us is um, morning time. And um, perhaps you've had a hectic week because it's, the, it, it's near the end of the week now. So I just want you to take a deep breath for a minute, okay? And this I find really, really helps me to just, you know, be present, be in the moment. Um, we want to make sure that you get uh, um, value for your time uh, for the next 30 minutes and um, and to do that it's about really being present and being here so close your eyes if you want uh, but just sit back in your chair and just make sure that you're comfortable and um, and let's breathe for a minute okay because it's so so important to take care of yourself uh, right now and um, and when you're networking virtually i think it takes a lot more out of us you know because you really have to focus in that much more and um and it's much easier to switch off and when we switch off we can tend to to miss something okay so just take that moment to to feel the support of the chair okay and uh, and take a deep breath in and let it all out and maybe one more breath. And let it all out. Okay. And uh, I was listening to a good meditation this morning by David G. And uh, he, he was uh, referring to on the exhale to think of it as you're letting out of you that which no longer serves you. And uh, I thought that that was a really wonderful way to look at it. Just let out that which no longer serves you so that you have room to allow in that which is, um, which is good for you and which will serve you. So I'm going to share my screen folks and, um, and we, will, we will dive right in, okay? Okay. So this, again, all about number one, taking care of yourself. So in times of emergency for remembering those days when we're on a, a flight, uh, it is about you putting your own max oxygen mask on first before you take care of somebody else. And we really need to make sure that we're doing that so that we're strong uh, for, for other people, for your clients, for your business, for uh, for your family. So my promise to you today, folks, is I'm going to share some tips on creating your profile and registering correctly to ensure that you find your perfect partners. I'm going to show you how to prepare for Planet IMX to maximize the opportunity, okay? And we're going to look at what is interesting conversation and, you know, perhaps look at some different angles to take to find partnerships and um, collaboration opportunities, uh, opportunities online. And I'm going to, uh, we're going to look at some, some tips and I'm going to share tips that I've, I've heard from other people also, how to get more of the virtual meetings that you want. Okay, and um, follow up techniques, follow up techniques and nurturing um, and more ideas to help you get that second meeting. And I think that this is really, really important. Uh, this is, to me, a very important aim of the in-person IMEX also is, is to, to, um, to, to meet people that you want to have a second meeting with. And I think we have these 20 minutes of an opportunity, the, the gift that, that is Planet IMEX. And I really 
I really do believe that and I, I, I thank the, um, the IMEX team for all the energy and efforts that, that they have put into creating Planet IMEX. Uh, but what I feel is very important um, mindset um, to go into the networking opportunity that is Planet IMEX is to find people that you want to have that second meeting with or who they want to have um, a second meeting in, uh, uh, with you, if it's a, a mutually beneficial one, okay? And that is the, and that is the focus, right? Because um, it's about participating and it's about connecting, right? Akila is the whole aim of Planet IMX is it's created as a platform for people to collaborate and to find partnerships and, um, and grow their network, grow their network um, very much. So um, perhaps maybe folks you can share there in the chat room, why do you want to participate in Planet IMX? Okay, why do you want to participate in Planet IMX? And I've just typed the question in the chat as well. So if you haven't seen the chat section yet, it should pop up now. Yeah, because there's there's probably different reasons for different people, but um, it's just interesting uh, to to put it out there right now and see um, and, and and see what that what that is. Um, you know, I've had a few people email me and. Uh, they are, you know, want to grow their network, they want to make um, connections and also, you know, business, uh, business opportunities. And, um, and, you know, absolutely, that is, um, you know, that is a valid um, platform, let's say, for, for, for finding people for growing your network and all of that type of thing. But we really want to make sure that we're, um, that we're uh, clear on um, the whole uh, ethos and the, the reason why Planet IMEX um, was created. So who, for example, wants to find a lead through Planet IMEX? Uh, is, um, is, is that a, um, a reason for people to have, uh, to have signed up? Just put, you know, yay or nay there in the, um, in, in the chat box. Okay, so um, yeah, Camilla, absolutely, to find, um, to find business opportunities. Um, and my other question then is, who is a participating in Planet IMEX to buy? Okay, and this can be a, a you know, like a, a, an impression that people have of what networking is about. Um, most people don't go to a networking event in order to buy something, right? Uh, because that's just not their that's just not their aim. So what we want to be clear about, and what we want to make sure that everybody is comfortable with, is that um, Planet IMEX is really designed as a networking tool, right? Achilles, that it is a matchmaking tool to help you find people that um, you know might be um, you know, great for. Uh, maybe connecting you with other people, great for conversation, great for building your knowledge, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but we want to be sure, sure or clear with you that Planet IMEX isn't built as, um, a, as a replacement for IMEX America in terms of um, the, the buyers uh, a marketplace, right, Achilles? That is absolutely correct, uh, Kira. Yeah. So, in in no way are the grip tools that if if you already signed up, they're not a replacement for the appointment system that you would normally get at IMEX and IMEX America. Uh, yeah. The grip system is really open for anyone to network with anyone. So even if you're a supplier, you can network with other suppliers as well. And yeah. it's one of the reasons why you will not see an attendee type. Uh, for people as well. You won't see anyone labeled as a buyer or anyone labeled as an exhibitor. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But it is definitely uh, worth, um, worth your while to dive right into it and to, you know, to make sure that you're profiling yourself and um, uh, making it clear who it is that would be a great connection for you that you would be interested in having a conversation with. And I'll talk about that concept in uh, in networking in terms of there's different layers, there's different types of networking, but also to make sure that you're doing some um, some lateral networking, because 
grip the, uh, the technology, the matchmaking tool behind Planet IMEX is a matchmaking tool and um, it was designed as that. So it will only be as powerful as the information that you are, that you are giving it, right? So, um, so do spend a little bit of time in, in the registration. Uh, process. So networking is about giving first and, um, and seeing how you can help people because that is one way to, to um, build a relationship uh, with somebody when they see that you genuinely do care and that you are interested in, um, in serving them and in what their needs are. And, you know, when I use that word serving, I think it's a word that we all, uh, being in the event and the hospitality industry, uh, definitely understand. I think it's kind of part of us, right? It's part of our of our ethos, our makeup almost. Uh, but it's very important in the whole um, networking um, mindset that it, it, it's not about just taking, that it very much is about giving who can you help, who can you connect, and ensuring that you understand what's important to that person. So in order to help the system, to help GRIP find uh, some of the, the best matches for you, I would suggest that you don't click every single uh, every single uh, uh, box here. That you really uh, do try to um, pinpoint who do you think are some of the best um, uh, introductions for you. But also, I would suggest if you're a destination management company. Um, you know, maybe it is that you're thinking, well, I really just want corporate planners or I want um, agencies because they're usually my, my type of client. I would suggest also that you sit, that you have conversations with other destination management companies uh, because, uh, you know, everybody's going through the same thing. It's, it's a global um, uh, worldwide uh, challenge that we're all facing right now. And, uh, and maybe somebody else has figured things out that you haven't figured out yet, or they've, they, they've, co they've come across that, they've had some ideas, they've been trialing, experimenting with different things. So I think that uh, is, is a worthwhile conversation. And, um, and also uh, perhaps maybe for other hotels or other conference um, venues and other convention and visitor bureaus to have some conversations with other people who, uh, who, who are sharing uh, definitely some of the challenges that you are that, that you are sharing. Um, I had a girl uh, from uh, South Africa actually the last time um, uh, Planet Imex took place in um, in May and she clicked education and training provider and so she got matched matched to me but we had a great conversation and so I was able to guide her on how to get the most out of the rest of her um, of her appointments, and she said that she had a great plan at IMEX as a result. Uh, so just you know to to think around it in a different in a different way because it's really about idea sharing, collaborating, and I think with hotels in particular, if you're uh, from perhaps a smaller group of hotels or maybe independent uh, a property, that you're looking at who might your client uh, be running multi hub events with because that's the the reality of conferencing and events over the next uh, perhaps year, that there'll be smaller regional events and uh, a, a conference organizer or planner will uh, want to set up maybe four or five events instead of one big event. So who can you be partnering with um, in order to make sure that, um, that you're putting together uh, that th th those contacts so that you can say to an organizer, look, I have a contact in X, Y, and Z. And if you're interested in a multi-hub event, we can make that happen, okay? So I think that's a very worthwhile um, conversation to have. And again, I had this conversation with a guy from, um, a number of resort uh, properties in the US uh, over the German planet IMEX and he said it's a strategy that really helped them over the last six months okay and then also uh, with the uh, you, you know with your interests right so this these are the choices of interests um, perhaps not to click all of them I've been through a lot of the different profiles on planet IMEX and I see a lot of people have clicked everything in the hope that anybody would want to talk to them about anything but 
you know, I would pick particularly the ones that you are interested in because you may not have all business conversations. Uh, and, and so to just widen, uh, widen the net, you know, what are your interests? Be clear on that um, so that you can have an inter a conversation with somebody who is interested in the same kind of things as you. Now, this is Charisse and myself uh, in May. And uh, she was one of the first people that I had a conversation with um, over on Planet IMX. And uh, she turned out to be a really great contact. Now, she was looking specifically for a speaker um, of, at their Philippines conference. And so that's why she requested a meeting uh, with me. Um, and it did turn into business for me. So I didn't go on Planet IMX um, specifically looking for business in, in, um, in May, but it did turn into a business opportunity for me. And actually they've hired me for, for two uh, keynote po possibilities. So uh, those possibilities are there, but I'm just asking everybody to be real realistic in terms of their expectations. Um, you, that you may or may not find them. And you know what networking Achille is, right? It's, 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 it's a lot of the time, it's, it might be a relationship that turns into something next year. Maybe you'll meet them in person next year, but you're starting the virtual relationship this year with them. You know, with association business, a lot of the time it can be two, three years before that uh, uh, accumulates. But there's fabulous, wonderful people in this industry. Would you agree? And so it's great, I think, to just um, reach out and, and, you know, to think past your region right now when we're all been asked to just look locally and have conversations with different people around the world. I think it's such a gift of um, our industry that we can uh, do that. But the real aim in networking and the opportunity with Planet IMX is to, uh, to build trust. And, um, and by going, uh, entering into it from that mindset of service and how can I help people, uh, I think that's why you will get the most um, from this opportunity. So I would also uh, look at this as an opportunity to profile your clients um, or to profile different people within the industry and really use it as an opportunity to research. Uh, while, while we're slowed down, while we're not in that craziness of um, running events, of servicing clients, you know, on property, or um, you have to fly off here or there in order to, to, to be at an event, now is a time to really, really listen. And it's, it's a topic that I've spoken about a lot over the last six months. It's a wonderful time to just slow down and listen and observe and what's important to people. And, uh, you know, uh, ask questions that will help you to understand their world that little bit more. Uh, because it's through that understanding of other people, what's happening in other countries, that I think it'll uh, enrich uh, your business and be able to set you up um, and see trends perhaps that are coming down the line and be prepared for that. Um, so, you know, let me know, folks, if this is helpful, if you would be in agreement uh, of this kind of thing. But uh, I think it's really, really is an important time to, to, to listen right now. OK, and perhaps maybe we can do a little bit of practice on this. But what are some great questions? Because I think this is an important part to prepare for the meetings next week at Planet IMX. What are some questions to ask? Um, networking is not about doing all the talking. And if you find that you're doing all the talking, just pause and, um, and go back and see what, what would be interesting. How can I really lead an interesting conversation? So, um, you know, we have some, we have some expert networkers um, in, in, in the room. We have a lot of, 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 of people here who, um, who have uh, some uh, experience with networking. So tell me, what would be a few questions um, that you would ask? So, um, you know, I think uh, uncovering their interests. So maybe if they pressed uh, clicked nature as, as something that they're interested in, um, you know, why do they why do they click that, for, for example? Is there something in particular, their hobbies, uh, their interests that, um, that, that you can talk about there? There's a lot of people who started doing new things, things that um, 
they wish they had time for before um, and then took that opportunity uh, over over lockdown or cocooning or um, whatever whatever term it was called in their country. So, um, you know, was there anything that they started to do over COVID that um, they've they, that has stuck, that they've decided this is really important to me, that I want to keep doing it. Um, that kind of thing is really, really important. Um, to bring it around to a work angle, you can always ask about um, projects. Are there any projects that you're working on right now? Um, you know, what are you hearing from your clients, I think is always a, a, a great one. Um, what is important to your company right, right now? How are you seeing the next six months panning out? Uh, I think that's very, very important. When um, lockdown started in, in Ireland here, it was around March 12th and March 10th, uh, I had started doing some uh, space to rethink sessions in, initially for my clients because I was speaking with a client in America um, the last week in February and she kept saying to me, Kira, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out because she'd lost five million in business that week. And that really stayed with me because I couldn't change um you know what our clients were doing and cancelling events but i thought over the weekend you know what i can help her control her response to this because that's that's all we have control of right now right uh and so i created this event called space to rethink and and literally it was just bringing people together so we had some time to think through what how can we react to this you know what can we do what do we have control of and it was wonderful to bring people from uh you know clients in dubai and america and slovenia and london and all, all over um and it was interesting in italy we had a lot from italy and it was interesting to see how the different um waves were affecting uh people at different times so uh you know there's a lot of um of interesting things to uh to, to talk about Achilles, for example we were just chatting last week and tell everybody what is your dog's name oh my dog's name is captain cisco <laughs> <laughs> so up, what uh, is a big interest for you <laughs> so yeah <laughs> star trek star trek star trek and i know you for what maybe three years or something and i never knew that about you before you know and now i know that you're into board games as well um, so, you know, uh, look for those kind of cues because that is a way to connect with, with somebody. People remember when you, um, when you have that more of a personal interaction. Uh, you know, a, a lot of the time it can be that our conversation was based on an RFP uh, that somebody had and that may not be the case right now. So with our virtual networking, with our matchmaking uh, that's going to happen ne next week to just look at uh, those kind of questions. How else can you broaden out the conversation? Um, a good research uh, question, I think, to ask people is what hashtags are they following right now? What industry magazines, perhaps any good podcasts that they're uh, that they're listening to? Who else do they follow? You know, who is an influence on them? Those are all really, really important questions, I feel, to ask right now to just understand and get to know your clients um, that that little bit more or your colleagues or people in the industry, because, you know, you could find a really great source of information for you to for you, too. And if I was to ask you right now, folks, um, what is your superpower? You know, wh what, what are you great at? What's a unique talent that, that, that you have, right? Um, I think it's, it's, it's an important part of self-awareness, but uh, this came up because I'm participating in a marketing mastermind right now, and it happens every second Thursday. So it's happening tonight, but I know she's going to ask me, Kira, what's your superpower this week, you know? And so I'm going to say it's connecting. I'm going to say that it's um, connecting people and, um, and that community. Community is something that's really, really important to me in the last three years, because we moved house and we moved to a smaller community um, of just 200 people and it's a it's a lovely village here in the heart of the Gael Tucked in West Cork in Ireland and immediately we felt so welcome and that that whole power of community really um, came home to me and uh, and it's it's and, and we we just you know just the way people welcomed us 
um, and it's it's brought that closer to me and it's high in my um, it's high in my awareness, let's say, um, as to what that is. So Camilla, what would you say yours um, yours is um, perhaps maybe share share that with me. Achilles, would you have a superpower? Uh, yeah, sure. I would say my superpower right now is listening. Uh, being part of the IMEX sales team, uh, I, I hear a lot of stories, real stories yeah. from our clients and how, you know, the difficulties they're going through right now. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, I think listening to everyone's stories and trying to support them as best as possible is really, really important. Absolutely. And for people to feel really, really listened to, to the extent that they're understood, you know. Um, that you're listening to understand rather than to respond. So, you know, there's a there's a big difference in that. So wonderful. That that is a talent. That is a gift. I think if you're a really good listener, I think that's definitely um, a gift that you have that you have in uh, that you have in life. Okay, Camila. Camila would say um, that she is great at creating relationships, um, but it is harder to do it digitally than face to face. Absolutely, it is more more of a challenge. Uh, but I have to say that um, I, I have created um, some really good um, uh, conversations and connections over the last six months. It does take work for sure. But what has helped me is if people introduce me and, uh, and they say, oh, you know what? I met this person or I know this person. I think there'll be a really good contact for you. And that, I think, really, really um, helps, you know, to in. It, the, the trust factor is is higher um, when you're uh, when, when you're introduced to somebody who already knows and trusts um, that that person. I think that that really helps. But it definitely takes a little bit more work, Camilla. It's 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 never the same as as face to face. But it is a I think it's a new talent that we need to um, that we need to develop, right? And Sherry. Uh, is talking about having empathy. Absolutely, empathy is is very very important word right now. And people feeling you know listened to, I think definitely helps with them, um, uh, with, with with that superpower and um, and 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 just being that calm. You know, you might find that you meet people who just want to tell you everything that went wrong that day or everything that was a disaster that week or how business is really, really bad. And it can be that, you know, we feel that being empathetic would be that you have to jump in and say, oh, I know it's the same here and da, da, da. Always try to keep it positive, right? I think that's an important part of empathy as well, Sherry, um, that, uh, that, that, that you're identifying with it, that you're understanding for sure, but that we're not then adding to it and talking about how, how bad things might be in our case or telling sad stories and all of that kind of thing. I think in the virtual world, it's important that you, you leave people feeling better than when they started a conversation um, with you, because sometimes people just need to, to be listened to, right? And to have that feeling. And of course, let's not stop connecting with people after Planet IMEX. Um, invite them to other events that you think might be of interest to them. Uh, you know, how can you, um, uh, how can you ensure that you meet them again, you have a second conversation with them, if it is that, you know, you feel that that would be important, that that would be um, mutually beneficial for, for, both, uh, for both of you. Um, so I think that's an important part of the conversation is to find out what's of interest to them, what are the subjects that are of interest to them right now, because when you find a great article or when you find an event on that, that you can let them know about that and then you are being of value to them. And these are, you know, great ways to, to nurture people, to follow up with people so that when they are, um, if it is a potential buy, buyer, if they are ready um, uh, to have that conversation about business that they think about um, about you but also you know um, you're looking at you could be connecting with people who might be a good introducer for you who um, you might be able to refer business to or they might be able to refer business to you so there's loads of different reasons uh, why people will will network um, but you know it's about this this mindset of serving people and offering solutions and how can you help them so take notes I always uh, recommend that you take notes, write things down, 
keep a plan at IMEX notebook, whatever that might be, and um, and refer back to that. So Achilles, there's some wonderful education sessions, right? Uh, there's I don't know how many education sessions, but there's uh, four days packed with um, different types of education, and this is a great place to to network also, uh, because there will be um, a chat box facility set up. For some of them, there will be the breakout sessions. And so you'll be in a smaller group um, of, of people. Um, and so, you know, interact in those uh, networking uh, sessions, um, in the education sessions, you know, post your contact information, post your name, uh, ask relevant questions. I think asking relevant questions is a very important way. So there's different layers of networking. Um, this might be your first time to meet somebody. And so, you know, it's a new acquaintance. So you can never rush that too much. I, I think sometimes it's a little bit like dating, you know, you've got the first the first date, right? And you're just trying to figure out, um, is this person interesting enough that I'll have a second date? But if you're doing all the talking, right, um, that person more than likely will not want to have a second a second date with you. But also, you know, it's about um, getting to know people on different levels and um, referral marketing can take place um, when there's a higher level of trust built. So, you know, it, how, where else, um, um, are, are people hanging out? What other virtual events are they on so that you can perhaps connect with them again? Uh, maybe it is that you need to have, you both realized, hey, you know what? We need to have at least an hour conversation um, and, uh, and, and you're setting that up. But there, just know and understand that there's different layers. Um, people are at different mindsets, different um different levels of trust and confidence and these kind of things can take can take time okay so monday is kicking off in ireland it's it's it, it's two o'clock um so uh you know monday i think is a bit more about fun right achilles that's There's correct yeah monday is is very is branded monday fun day it's more of a fun uh, focus day with the main education kicking off on um tuesday to thursday yeah, absolutely. But there's always really great insights. You know, anytime you hear Ray and Karina speaking, it's always, always, uh, it's always worthwhile. So make sure to uh, mark it in your agenda. I know last um, May, I forgot about a few of the uh, sessions uh, because I didn't have them in my calendar. I didn't have them in the, in the system. So I wasn't getting reminders and I was mad afterwards that I, that I had missed them. So uh, if you go through the, the, the system there it um and also right achilles last um last may there was a number of sessions that were sold out they were um they were limited in terms of numbers uh so to try and make sure that you uh, get your place in 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 different uh in different speakers rooms um you know do do that now and i actually don't have enough of them uh, in my agenda right now so i brought up the name tag and um i was chatting with a guy who um, who does a lot of the virtual networking. And he was saying that this is really, really important part of the virtual networking also. So while, uh, you know, if we were at IMX uh, America, we'd be, we'd be wearing this, right? Um, but it's always really important to have it uh, prominent. Uh, but he's suggesting that virtually you do that too. Um, and of course this here, so you see uh, in my uh, little camera box there, Kira Feely. So to make sure that you have your name uh, there and it's not, you know, um, you know, uh, room one laptop or something like that, or, a, you know, obscure name, maybe you borrowed a laptop from somebody, but you can personalize that. And how you do that is there's three little buttons you'll see to the right and click on those and then you should be able to change the name to whatever so you could put your name and then perhaps your business uh whatever um whatever whatever uh whatever helps and you know when you're in group virtual networks to make sure that you have that and i also um i also was thinking you know to have have something here because um you know you can see clearly this is kira but it helps to stand out a little bit when there's a c or you know there's 20 little boxes of people on the um 
uh, on the event, it, it helps to have something to help distinguish you, that people will, will go to that or remember, uh, re remember you. And, um, and, you know, visually the background, Achilles had a really great example, example there. So folks, there is a number of people uh, on the call here who might be having a little bit of a hard time, um, you know, trying to figure out what's the approach, where do I find opportunities right now? Um, Achilles is going to put a link there in, 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 the, in, in the chat box, but I've created a course on how to do that. And it takes about two to three hours if you're interested and really just want to dig a little bit further where are the revenue opportunities right now. I walk you through all of that very um, in a very clear cut manner with practical examples. Everything I do is all about making it practical. So folks, take a look back over your notes there and let me know, is there anything that you're gonna take from today, right? I'd love you to write one thing, right? Um, one thing that you're gonna take from today that you're gonna implement and um, uh, that, you know, will help you to have a little bit more success, whether it's in Planet Imex or any of the other virtual networking opportunities that we're gonna have in the next year or so. Um, let us let, let us know what that is because it's important to us that you got something from the last 40 minutes of your life right and it wasn't a, a waste for for anybody so if anybody wants to have a chat feel free uh, look for me in the uh, in, in planet uh, imex there and also to um or you can set up a a, a time with me collect with me on on linkedin um one thing I did forget to to talk about Achilles was uh, in the profiling, and I know that you have more in depth uh, uh, videos created in terms of training for how to get the most out of Planet IMX. But um, in your profile, you were telling me it's in the top right hand box, and you can click on that, you can edit it, uh, but there's a summary box down the bottom, right? So what what are we suggesting to put in that box there? That's correct. Yeah. So all the previous information is what are you interested in? What, what's your name, your company name, that kind of stuff. On the summary, that's where you're going to put information uh, about yourself and about your company. Um, maybe a bit about why you're at Planet IMEX, what you're interested in talking about. Because yeah. sometimes those categories, those pre-existing categories of things you are interested in might not just fit your actual preferences. So go yeah. ahead to more detail in the summary it's you never know if that little detail sparks a conversation yeah i think that's really really um important part of it achilles is to to try and personalize that as much as possible and not just copy and paste a company description or you know if you're a hotelier a description of your hotel because what that might say to um it, whether it's a potential buyer, whoever it might be, it, that might say to them, oh, you know, if I arrange a meeting with this person, I'm just going to have to listen to a sales pitch, right? And you want to avoid that. So personalize that, put in something interesting, put in something um, new that you're doing, um, um, you know, whatever it might be. My father has got it in his head now that he wants to start beekeeping because he's reading a book about beekeeping. It could be that you're a really great book that you're reading right now, but I would say personalize that as much as possible put a little bit about your business definitely um but i think definitely to, to to keep it more more human as they as as they say like for me i for whatever reason over lockdown um i decided to make wine uh from gorse a gorse bush and this is a, it's a beautiful um they have it in England. It's a beautiful mustard yellow flower. It's a wild, wild bush. So you'll see it all over where I live. And I love the color of it. And I was always kind of drawn to it. And then in some of the WhatsApp groups that I'm in, somebody shared a recipe on how to make wine from gorse flowers. I never would have realized that you could do that. So I, I, I decided to make wine and it's mad. I've had so many conversations um, about it since. Now the wine didn't turn out good. <laughs> It was more like cider. It's not my cup of tea, but I would make it again just to, to make a cordial out of it. The cordial was um, the cordial was was lovely. So, Camila, it's great to hear that you have learned some good networking questions. Yeah. And to broaden your perspective. Absolutely. Very, very um, important 
part, I think, of Planet IMEX, and that is how you will definitely maximize the gift and the opportunity that is indeed Planet IMEX. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask me. You have my email, you have my LinkedIn, um, and of course, connect with me through the platform. Please, please, please connect with me through the platform and um, write your names there as well if you want somebody else to connect with you um, from, from, today's, uh, from today's webinar. Achilles, thank you as always. Really appreciate uh, your time and the invitation to, to share these few tips. It's great to have you with us again, Kira. Yeah, thank you so much for going through everything here with us. I hope this has been useful for all the attendees here. And just remember as well um, uh, that on GRIP, it's not just about going for that appointment and getting the appointment during the week of Planet IMEX. Uh, you can also just chat with people. It doesn't need to be an appointment. Like Kira yeah. said, make that connection um, and 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 work on that connection for the future yeah. so and then we'll all work on making sure that we can go to las vegas next year right and frankfurt in may very important okay excellent see you're there yeah yeah we'll see you there we'll see you there thanks a million everybody take care we'll see you on planet imax bye thanks, and we've everyone. recorded today's session as well right so if anybody wants to share it with their colleagues I will we'll be sending that out, but I'm sure it'll be on the IMEX website too. Cool. Thank you so much, Kira. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Bye, folks. For Take care. Bye. -bye.